Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about the stress strain curve of mild steel. A mild steel rod is subjected to a tensile force and the stress is plotted in the y-axis and strain in the x-axis and we are getting some curve like this. We will discuss some salient points of the curve in this video. You see, up to a certain point, let's this point is A, the curve is perfectly straight line. This means for this region OA, the stress is proportional to strain. And you can write this like this. This constant of proportionality that is stress by strain is called Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity. So point A is some ultimate point up to which the curve remains straight. If you remove the load, rod will recover its original position. That means the material is in elastic range. This point A is called proportional limit. For a short period after A up to point B, the material may still be elastic, but the nature of the curve is not linear. It is curved. If you remove the stress from point B, the material can recover its original position. B is called elastic limit. After point B, the material will enter into the plastic region. At some point C, the material starts yielding. That means it is started deforming like this. And this deformation is permanent. If you remove the load, it will not be recovered. And when it start deforming, if you remove the load also at a lesser load, the material can undergo certain strain and reach the point D. This point C is called upper yield point. That means the maximum load requires to start yielding and D is lower yield point. It means the minimum load at which the steel can deform. If you further increase the stress after point D, there will be significant amount of deformation in the material and the curve will reach some ultimate point E up to which the material can withstand its deformation without failure. This point E is called ultimate stress point. If you further increase the load beyond point E, the rod will undergo some local reduction of cross-sectional area like this. This is also termed as necking and can't withstand more load and the curve drops and at some point if the material breaks. This point F is called breaking point. Up to this point B, the material is elastic. After this, it is plastic. Stress corresponding to the point D is generally termed as yield stress. If you find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel being civil. See you in the next video.